So we went to Tyx Resort and I sat through a bit of a process through EO looking at what I was doing and was hearing from other companies and other EO members what they were doing and kind of thought, yeah, I'm not so sure I'm on the right path. I think I felt the competitiveness of other EO members and their businesses growing and thought, am I really growing quickly enough? Am I the right guy to grow this? Is this the right business to grow? So I took my own retreat rather than just an EO retreat. I went off on my own to Bowen Island in my parents' cottage and sat out on the dock. And it was September 17th, 98. I remember the day because I've looked back at day timers. And I sat there and I said, okay, I've got to just imagine the future and get clear on what my vision is, what my painted picture, I called it, was for the future. So I took one sheet of paper, closed my eyes at times, and just envisioned pure possibility. I said, okay, if I could grow this business to a point five years out, so the end of 2003, what could it or would it look like, feel like, act like at that point in the future? And just started scrolling down sentences, just thoughts describing the picture in my head. And the deal I made with myself was I was not allowed to have any doubt, no questions, no limits. It was just pure possibility that I had to just imagine the what, not how to get there. Because if I thought of the how, I would start doubting, going, well, I couldn't grow to 30 cities. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. Don't have enough money. Might not be the right person and so on. So wrote out two page, pages of what I called the painted picture of 2003. What made you look at all possibilities? I just thought if I'm going to look at a future business, whether it was the future of my own business or a completely different business, I couldn't have any limits. I couldn't have anything holding me back. I just wanted to see what was a picture that I could clearly see in my mind. Dave Chalk, who was, of course, an EO member, uses the term leaning into the future. And he talks about leaning through a barrier from today to the future and picturing what does everything look like from the color of the paint on the walls to the people in the room to the number of employees number of trucks whatever you have in your business what's that picture and if you can conceive and believe you get out there and take the next step to achieve when you looked at it when it was complete how did you feel I saw it I saw the picture it was there in my head and I said okay if it's in my head as the entrepreneur's head I've got my team my employees my if I'm the leader and these are the followers to help me get there I've got to make sure they're on board. What was the next step? So I had to sit down with all of them and, and say, here's my painted picture. And I read it to everybody. I started reading it to employees. And if they bought in and got excited, great. I'd have them on board. If they didn't, that was a flag to tell me that I might not have the wrong, right person. And I did make changes over time. And it was usually people that didn't see the picture or didn't see their own involvement and engagement in the picture. A painted picture is a bit of an art, not a science. and um, it's tough to completely measure everything that's in there, but I worked it out after the painted picture came into reality, after December 31st, 2003, and my estimate was 96% of what was in there happened. Over um, those five years. Exactly. We hit the top 30 metros, we hit our revenue targets, we hit our key metrics in the business, we got on the Oprah Winfrey show, different things that we envisioned would happen, mm -hmm. happened. So it's a process that I'm working through to make sure we've always got a painted picture so we've got clear direction. It's sort of our guiding, our north star of the business. Here's where we're going. Don't know how we'll get there, but this is where we will go.